Hello, I'm Bob Duke with Ladder Creek International. Today we're starting a series on the MVIS system of best practices and installations. We're going to start today with the cement backer board uh, installation and uh, technique. All right, when we uh, have the cement backer board uh, installed on the job site, what we want to make sure is all the stickers are removed off the job site. Um, don't leave those up because it can be a bond breaker uh, with the stone in that area and the other products being used. Then we want to check to make sure all the fasteners are set to the proper depth and then uh, we're going to start the prep of the tape and the installation of the adhesive mortar. Uh, basically the adhesive mortar is the ANSI 118.4 or higher. Um, most of the MVIS mortars that you buy or have on the job site can do all these preps. So we'll get started looking and observing any of the screws that might be in or out. If they're out, what we need to do is make sure those are sunk, even with the face of the cement backer board. Okay, once those are complete, then we can start tape and uh, taping off the joints and getting ready to uh, apply the mortar. The other thing you want to also make sure is that everything is properly clean. Uh, if there's dust or uh, debris from the job site that could be on the backer board, uh, make sure that's all wiped down and prepped before uh, applying all the tape. So before we get started, what we're going to do now is apply the mesh tape as the alkaline resistant tape. Uh, the manufacturer makes those recommendations as well. And um, you apply that to all the joints. Always making sure that the backer board tape at least meets halfway through or a little bit over. That way you have a good uh, joint uh, in that area. Okay, so the tape's installed and then we're gonna mix our mortar at this point. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it to about a pancake consistency, maybe a little bit heavier than that, enough where it'll hold on to the trowel so you can apply the mortar. So we'll get started with that here in just a sec. No. Now we're going to get started with the uh, mudding of the joints. We have the material mixed up, ready to go. So now we're just going to start applying that to the, uh, the joints itself. All right, once you kind of get the mud placed over the joints, then what you want to do is trowel it to a smooth consistency. It doesn't have to be uh, pretty. It just has to be nice and smooth and even as you can get it. Any of the uh, screw holes that might have been oversunk or any of that time, you can put a little daub on it just to fill the hole to make it more consistent when you apply the uh, air and water barriers. 